what's up guys? Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at Menzies Motorsports. Kind of want to give you guys a grand tour of the race shop. On this side, we have our short course trucks. We have bays, which we do short course. And then farther down the line is desert and all of our short course semis in the back. From here, I'll kind of hand it off to some of the guys around the shop to give you a tour and show you more in detail of the race shop. This is our Pro 4 race truck here. It's about 850 horsepower. It's got a manual sequential gearbox and it's a whole lot of fun to drive. So because we beat this truck up so much, we have a full fabrication shop in-house um, to basically fix, replace, rebuild any of the aluminum, any of the chromoly. As you can see, any type of grinder we would ever need from a tube notcher, a 20 inch disc. Over here we have a mill, not CNC like a lot of people have that make parts over and over and over. A lot of the stuff we do is custom, one-off stuff. So we like to have a mill where we can basically build one part at a time. Over here, we call this the shop's best friend. We use it for everything. Making parts, cleaning parts, truing parts, just anything you could ever imagine this lathe can just about do. This is what we call the tire area. We mount a lot of tires from short course, desert. Every race, the desert truck gets roughly 28 tires per race. Short course race weekends are close to the same. This semi basically holds spare parts here. Our other semi right here, it actually holds the race trucks up top and then it's got our full work area down below. We keep, we keep the semi opened up basically while we're at the shop because a lot of the work that we do on the trucks, we do out of the semi. We have spare parts, spare transmissions, uh, anything, spare brake calipers. A lot of anything we would ever need is, is in this trailer. So next thing, uh, sitting next to the Pro 4, I guess, I guess is another all wheel drive, four wheel drive vehicle here. Bryce uses this thing for everything. He puts a lot of miles on, on these razors. Typically these things will have a GPS in it. And a lot of times he'll load the mint course and he'll go out and drive a lap of the mint course. So it's, it's an awesome tool to have for using pre-running, racing. This right here is his Ford pre-runner. It's his pride and joy. He puts so many miles on this thing down in Mexico. It probably gets the most abuse out of anything in here. He puts down in a good two weeks down in Baja, two, 3,000 miles. For how many miles this goes through, every nut, every bolt, everything has to be checked, gone over, replaced. So some of the things we do is with the suspension, we actually change heims, we change bolts almost every race. It's tedious, but it's what makes it so reliable. A lot of the parts I have on this rack are all spares that we actually take down to Mexico and take down to certain races. And we try to keep an abundance of spare parts. This truck gets so many miles, it has to have pretty much everything to fix it. Cause at the end of the day, he has to get those miles in and the truck's not running, then it's kind of pointless. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the trophy truck from ordering parts to assembling it. We kind of have everything organized for every corner of the truck, from parts for the right front, parts for the left front, our spare transmission. We keep our panels, everything over here. Workbenches on each side of the truck so nobody's fighting each other in the way. We keep all of our new and used parts organized side to side, parts that are ready to go on the truck and new parts in case we need it. Besides our toolboxes, our basic hand tools, laptops, uh, we don't really have much down here besides uh, Miller Welder to fix cracks and fix some parts if we need to, but we're pretty efficient down in this area. Unless we need to make something, then we'll head down to the other end, but most of our time spent down here. That's our whole team and our shop, and we'll see you out in the desert.